This video will explain how to get honeycomb and how to use the honeycomb in Minecraft. In the Minecraft 1.17 update, Caves and Cliffs Part 1, the honeycomb got added crafting recipes, so I thought it would be a good idea to review the honeycomb. This video will go through the bee's nest and hive, how bees increase the honey level of nests, how to shear honeycombs, and the crafting recipes and uses of honeycombs. We need to start by talking about the bee's nest and where to find them. The most likely biome to find them are 5% chance in the plains and sunflower plains biomes. This percentage represents the chance of finding an oak or birch tree with a bee's nest on it. In these biomes, if you look at 20 trees, you might find one bee's nest. In the flower forest biome, it is a 2% chance in java and a 3% in bedrock. Even though flower forests have a lower chance, there is a higher tree and flower density, meaning you are more likely to find a bee's nest in the flower forest. The forest, wooded hills, birch forest, tall birch forest, birch forest hills, tall birch hills have a 0.2% chance in java and a 0.035% chance in bedrock. Bees nests can also generate on trees when an oak or birch sapling is within two blocks of a flower. There is a 5% chance for a bee's nest to appear with 1-3 to three bees in it. This applies to any biome in any dimension. If you apply bone meal to an oak or birch sapling within 2 blocks of a flower, you can spawn a bee's nest without having to look for one. If you want to move the bee's nest, you will have to break it with a silk touch enchanted tool. The silk touch enchantment drops the block instead of breaking it. The axe is the quickest tool to break the bee's nest. If you use any tool without the silk touch enchantment on it, it will destroy the bee's nest and the bees will be angered. Also, if you mine a bee's nest and there are bees in the nest and you use the silk touch enchantment, the bees will still stay in the bee's nest. You will probably want to mine a bee's nest that has bees in it, preferably at least two, so you can breed more. Let's talk about bees. First off, bees are a neutral mob, meaning they won't attack you unless you do something that angers them. When it comes to bees nests, one to three bees will be housed in the bees nest or hive. Bees without nest will wander around looking for an empty nest. Bees travel up to 22 blocks from the nest to find something they can pollinate. They can travel further if necessary. They are attracted to flowers, sweetberry bushes, flowering azalea, and flowering azalea leaves. They circle a flower for 30 seconds, collecting pollen. When they have the pollen, there will be particles dripping from the end of the bee. Bees will fly into the nest and work for 2 minutes. This will increase the honey level by 1. The bees will return to the nest at night or when it is raining. The bees will stay in the nest for 2 minutes before coming back out. The bees will attack you if you attack one of them. The bees when they are attacked will swarm the player and try to sting them. If they succeed, the player gets the poison effect. The bees will lose the stinger and die after one minute. The bees can also be led by a lead and follow a player if they are holding a flower. Bees can be bred by feeding them a flower and entering them into love mode. Two bees will breed a baby bee. How to get a honeycomb. When bees nest or bee hives reach honey level 5, they can be harvested to get honeycombs. You can tell the nest or hive is full because it will be dripping with honey and you can see the honey particles falling from it. To harvest, you will have to put a lit campfire or light a fire under the nest. Using shears will drop 3 honeycombs. If you don't use a campfire, the bees will be angered and attack you. The honeycomb can also be collected using dispensers. When the dispenser has shears inside and is next to the nest, it can be activated and shear the nest. This won't anger the bees. Bees nests can also output a redstone signal if there is a comparator facing out from the bees nest. Redstone comparators can measure how much is in an item and output a signal based on this. As the honey level is 5, the comparator signal will increase with each honey level. This means you can create an automatic farm to shear the bees nest or hive when they are full. Shears will use durability each time it is used in a dispenser. Also, a hopper minecart under a block can be used to collect the honeycombs that fall. Another option is to place farmland as it isn't a full block and honeycombs can be collected by a hopper underneath the farmland. The crafting recipes for the honeycomb. The first recipe is a beehive 
can be crafted with six planks and three honeycombs. Beehives are the same as a bee's nest. The only difference is they can be crafted. The second recipe is four honeycombs can be crafted into a honeycomb block. The honeycomb block is a decorative block and cannot be crafted back into honeycombs. The next crafting recipe is a honeycomb and string can be crafted into a candle. The candle can be changed to any color by crafting the candle with a die. The candle is similar to sea pickles. One to four candles can be placed on one block. The light level increases by three with each candle. At one candle, it is a light level of three. At four candles, it is a light level of 12. The candle can be lit with flint and steel, a fire charge, or a flaming projectile. The candles can be placed on a cake. The last crafting recipe is a honeycomb can be crafted with a copper block to wax the copper block. With copper blocks, they can weather when they are placed in the world. There are four stages that are copper, exposed, weathered, and oxidized. This goes from a copper color to green. When a copper block is placed in the world, every random tick, a random tick is on average 68 seconds, there's a 5% chance for the copper block to enter pre-oxidation. This means it takes 20 minutes for it to reach the next stage. Copper blocks weathering is affected by the copper blocks within 4 blocks of it. Blocks that are a lower oxidation will prevent the copper block from oxidizing and blocks at the same oxidation will cause the copper block to oxidize slower. The best way to weather copper blocks is by placing them 4 blocks apart. Anyways, waxing a copper block will prevent the copper block from reaching the next stage. If you like the look of a weathered copper block, it can be crafted with a honeycomb to keep it at that stage. The waxing also applies to cut copper blocks, cut copper slabs, and cut copper stairs. All of these blocks can continue to weather when they are placed in the world. If you want to remove the wax, it can be scraped off using an axe. The axe can also be used to scrape off the oxidation from a copper block, moving it back one stage.